ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Muay Thai World Series. It's main event time, and this one has an international flavour. It's Thailand versus the UK for the £100 S1 belt. Phoenix Carnivali meets our two champions. Denise, thanks for sitting down with me today. That's okay. So, you're fighting for the S1 belt. Mm -hmm. This is a rematch, of course. Yeah. Um, what are you going to capitalise now that you know your opponent? Um, well, boxing is my strength, really. Um, and I just want to go in and hit hard and uh, try and sort of negate the clinch as much as I can. Um, I'm pretty safe in the clinch, but it's not really. I know that she is quite a master at it, so. The last fight went to decision, of course. Um, what are you planning to do to make sure that it's much more clear in your favor for this fight? Just hit hard and make and be dominant in the ring, you know, make sure that um, that it's known that I am. Well, I heard this rumor that this is going to be your last fight. Is that true? It is, yeah, yeah. After a long career, um, you know, with some, with, especially with having a family now, the, the children are getting older and, you know, I've reached the top. I've reached where I wanted to get to and I'm quite happy to leave it there. Yeah, so uh, the last be bit this, is the, the S1 belt. That's, that's what really solidify your career and so you're going to be really hungry for that then. Yeah, I want to go out in style, definitely. Loma, you fought Denise Castle at the King's birthday in Thailand just a couple months ago and you were the winner of that fight. Now you're taking the rematch. What do you think your advantages are that you had won previous? I am uh, very happy to be here in England as my first time. And for the last time that I fought with Denise, she, she was great. And, and this time, my, my advantage is punch and knee. So how many fights have you had? I fought for Muay Thai 200 times. When did you start fighting? I started Muay Thai since I was seven years old. Last time you were very successful in the clinch against Denise. Do you feel you have um, a, a better clinch training in Thailand than maybe she would have in the UK? I have trained very well for this fight, uh, especially for crunching. That is my strong point also. My style is both fighter and boxer style. Explain what that means to have a, a fighter and boxer style. If Denise walked to me, I have prepared a good protect and uh, we'll go back with a good punch and knee. Why do you love fighting? Both my father and my mother are boxer. Muay Thai is in my blood. Well, this is going to be a very exciting fight. Rematches are always very exciting because both fighters try to capitalize on what they do well and try to learn from what they did wrong from the previous fight. So we're really looking forward to that. Stay tuned to see how this rematch goes. It is set for five, two minute rounds of action. And it is for the 100 pound S1 Championship of the World. And now introducing to you first, Ready for war in the blue corner, Loma Sijau! And now introducing her opponent, Denise Castle! Denise starts off with a push kick, catches Lone Ma's kick. Now, this is basically how Lone Ma was able to win their last fight. She, she had dominated Denise in the clinch. Denise is trying to keep Lone Ma at the end of her punches. Yes, at the moment, Denise is using one of the best weapons they has, her hands. And so far, her opponent is playing a proper Thai style, taking her time. Sussing Dennis out. A lot of deal of respect from her opponent, but Dennis is um, ready for business. Ooh. Denise being the aggressor in this round here. Lone Ma taking her time. I mean, in Thailand, they usually take their time the first round because, well, of heavy betting. Yes, of course. <laughs> but in Thailand, you take the first time the first round just to suss out your opponent. And her soul is getting ready for the rest of the rounds in that fight. This bout again is for the S1 world title at 100 pounds. 
Good body kick by Lonema. Nice knee by Denise. Clinch gets woken up. Again, Lonema, nice step, steps back out of the way. At Denise's long reach. Nice tricky kick. Oh, a nice counter body kick by Lone Maya. Yeah. Very, very fast and explosive uh, right kick she has. First elbow of the night thrown by Lone Ma. Denise jockeying for position there in the clinch. And that ends round one. Lots of skill. All right, so we're beginning round two. Denise coming out with those heavy hands right away. Catching Lone must kick. Oh, and dumped to the canvas. Now, dumping to the canvas does show control, but it doesn't score very high because she didn't land anything no, before she threw her down. It's not a great, it's not a great deal of Oh, big, big uh, jab there landed by Denise. Nice one, too, landed by Denise, and she moves out of the way. Denise is uh, being, being very good at catching those kits and countering right away. Elbow landed on the inside by Denise. Denise. It's actually right here, trying to put her elbows in. Denise keeping Lorma nice at the punch. end of her punches. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, oh, big nice elbow, stepping, stepping, stepping elbow, elbow. Very nice elbows from Dennis. Ref breaks it up. That right hand snaps Loma's head back. Denise is keeping her in a corner. A nice teep kick to back Denise off. Both fighters keeping their composure very well. Excellent uh, body punch by Denise to keep her at bay. Denise is just overwhelming her with punches. Loma clinches up. Rap actually, breaks up that clinch. Actually, Loma was overwhelmed over by Dennis' punches, so that's why she, she got close into the clinch. Yes. Ooh. Teep kick ends that round. All right, so this is the beginning of round three. Here at the Muay Thai World Series, I'm Phoenix Valley. Alongside me is... Teddy Therese. We're watching right here two warriors in the ring fighting it out for the S1 100 pound championship. Long Ma gets her head snapped back with a 1 2 by Denise Castle. Denise is staying very aggressive. As soon as she catches that kick, she tries to throw a counter. That scores very, very high here. Both, both fights are taking the time. And it's the third round, so I guess we'll see Loma actually picking up the pace. Oh! Oh, big right hand snaps Loma's oh, head back. Oh, that was one, two hands. Nice ones. Even Loma. Actually, yeah, she, she, she did. She was like, all right, you got me. You got me there. All right, that starts getting messy. I would say that uh, Loma stopped being frustrated because Denise is so far bringing well, the, the fight up to her. The, the boxing of Denise is definitely showing through here. Rich Cat and uh, you can see in Monma's corner telling her to pick up the action, pick up the action, not wait. Yes, indeed. Denise did something excellent there, you know. Uh, instead of being thrown by Monma, she kind of dug her weight down and, and grabbed around the waist. Oh, big, big shots there by Denise. Nice catch by Denise. Yeah. Did she manage to catch all those kits so far? Which yeah, is very she's doing good. an excellent job at that. Yeah, do a good job with that. Lonema needs to kind of fake to the body and go high. Oh, big, big burn kick to N the uh, nice, nice inside left kick. thigh, yes. 
Loma needs to start start being a little bit more aggressive here. Yeah, Loma needs to be a bit more aggressive. Big right kick. Oh, big elbow Look, on big the elbow inside by Denise. Denise. And Loma, even on a clinch, she's trying to stay away from elbow techniques because she knows Dennis is looking for her. Yeah. All right, here we go at the start of round four. Muay Thai World Series sponsored by Chang Beer. Live life large. And that's what these ladies here are doing. Fighting their hearts out here. Big elbow by Denise. Loma's trying to counter with a kick. Nice knee by Loma. Oh, nice knee by Loma. Pushing Denise away. Yes. That was a nice, sharp knee. She needs to do Ooh. a little bit more of that. that nice. That was a nice leg kick. Leg kick caught by Denise, but countered by that catch by Lonma. Definitely. Big right hand from Denise. Nicely defended with a knee from Loma. Good. Denise's legs have stayed strong. Lonma went to her sleep. Denise just sat into it. Nice uh, checked kick by Lonma there. Big nice push kick, kick from by Lonma. Lonma. She looks happy now. <laughs> the push kicks to the thigh by Lonma. Denise overwhelming with the boxing. Now again, you know, even though she's not landing anything, it does kind of take the wind out of you or yes, hurt you when you hit the ground. You, even if you don't score any points. Oh, big, big teeth kick again by Lonma. I would say we can see a, a, a typical tire reaction. Going on the clean, turning you around, putting knees in when they know that you're putting up the fight to them, especially when you're coming with stronger hands like Dennis does. Yeah. Then we get close. Then we turn around. Right. Fifth and final round. All right. Fifth and final round of the Muay Thai World Series sponsored by Chang Beer. Lonma coming in for that clinch again. Really throwing Denise off balance. Denise manages to maintain that balance and it gets split up. Beautiful jab, stepped in jab by Denise. Another step in jab by Denise. Right kick countered by Denise. Denise using those elbow, elbows, overhand elbow. Oh, nice big, big right overhand. hand. Nice kick from Loma. Oh, and then nice right overhand. Hand. I think Dennis should, should uh, use the opportunity to go one to right in the middle when Loma comes straight to her on a clinch. Oh, with Over, an elbow, you mean? Like a, a just straight in, elbow? Straight in, uh, straight in an elbow as she walks in. Yeah, I agree. Or one, two, because Loma is coming straight hands on the clinch. Yeah, she, she's, she's not sneaking in. She's coming in for Definitely, like, yeah. like the arms up to clinch. Oh, again, another big stiff jab. Denise is looking for that overhand right a lot tonight. Yes. Because you know that it works for her. Yeah. She's got great boxing. She really does. Ooh, nice kick from Loma. Yeah, caught by Denise. Denise is starting to throw those punches straight down the, the middle. Nice body punch, jab, body jab by Denise with an overhand right. Caught the kick and straight, straight jab to end that round. That was an excellent really, fight. Really nice work. Excellent fight by both well, women. Fight, I think Denise had a good position on that fight. Yeah.
Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. We have the scores of 49, 46, 49, 47, and 48, 47, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and the new S1 champion of the world, Danny!